Let me ask you one question. Have you ever been caned with no clothes on? Yeah, I know. Terrible, right? If this has happened to you before, then I know your pain. If you have never been through this, then let me tell you what it feels like. Okay, let's get straight to the story. So this happened around the time when I was in primary three. I was about eight or nine years old, yeah? And I have been through two humiliating, painful, and traumatizing events. I'm talking about when I was told to undress and lay down for a couple of whips on my bare bottoms. <laughs> The first time this happened, I remember so well. It was in third term and it was a rainy season as usual. Well, I don't know what's happening these days, but it was always third term that, that was a rainy season. So after all the assemblies with the teachers telling us not to play in the rain, there came this day and I decided to play in the rain. We all know as kids when a message is repeated so many times for a long time, that isn't something to take seriously. It's fake news. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but to me as a kid, if something has been repeated, I don't really take it seriously. So, on this fatal day when I made that unwise decision, it started to rain and all the children went to the dormitory. But my friend and I took this advantage and had an opportunity to have fun. Yeah, so there was this gutter and a broken jerry can. Now, if you were my African guardian angel and you saw me stand near a gutter with flowing water and a jerry can that seemed like a boat. You obviously know what my friend and I were, were about to do. Yeah, so we took turns riding this jerry can. This was one of those moments I can't forget because we survived being struck by lightning, practically survived death. So when we were done and tired, we decided to go shower and, and rest. But what we didn't know is the teacher was busy watching us like some pedophile watching kids play in the rain. Let's call him John, yeah? Yeah, so we noticed him, tried to run, but it was already too late. He knew who we were, he had seen our faces, and there was no chance to escape or run away, because once the teacher knew your face, that was the end of it. You know you are going to die. Yeah, so he approached us and he told us to find him in the staff room. Now, that's when we knew we were going to be sentenced to death. We dried ourselves up, put on uh, two shots, each of us, then headed to the staff room. Now, we thought Mr. John was just going to cane us and that would be it. This man had something creepy up his mind. Anyway, so Mr. John told us to undress and lay on the floor. Now, as a kid, this, this was my first time I was ever being told to undress by a teacher. Of course, my parents would tell me to undress and, and that's a normal thing. But this is a total stranger, a teacher, a teacher that doesn't even teach you. Yeah? So he told us to undress and we thought he was joking. So we hesitated and in just a split second, he slapped my friend and that's when things got real. Yeah, so I, I was really scared because my, my friend fell down. So he sent me for this stick and both of us laid on the floor with our bare buttocks out. We were all naked, the floor was cold, and it was raining, it was still raining outside. So Mr. John gave us seven canes each on our bare buttocks and I've never felt so helpless, so disrespected, so humiliated in a room of only three people, the teacher, me, and my friend. I just felt like my rights were being violated. It was just a painful event. The other time this happened to me, it happened in my dormitory and it happened around the same time in, in third term. It was a really terrible time for me. At this point in time, in my primary three, I was still wet in the bed. I know. Yeah. So there was this one time I had forgotten my bed sheets outside and some dogs ate them. 
This this is not a joke, I'm serious. Dogs actually ate my bed sheets. So the matron picked them up and she knew they were mine. So this one night, she comes in the dormitory yelling for me to get out of bed. She shows me my bed sheets, but I boldly deny them. Of course she tries to slap me, but at this point, I'm aware she wants to beat me up real bad. So I make sure I dodged all her slaps, but then she surprisingly gets me by the neck. She doesn't squeeze, but as a kid, with all the action movies I had watched, there were actually a few I didn't really watch TV, but with all the action movies I had watched, I knew that when someone grabs hold of your neck, you are going to die. So I surrendered and I told the matron, I'm sorry, but she was already pissed and she had to see me cry. She wanted to inflict some pain on me. So she tells me to get my PJs off and, and lay down. And so I did. I laid on the cold floor and she was a very talented caner or weeper. She would hit in the same area that she just hit. She would leave a, a space of about a few seconds so that the pain would surface, so that you would feel the pain. Yeah. So I was given 10 whips, but then when it got to six whips, I started to cry while calling out my mom. And what was sad about this is I had no clue who my real mom was, but I called out for my mom anyway. So when all this was done, I got up, went to bed, I looked at her and she looked pleased. She looked like what she had done was good. She was happy, I cried. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry this did not end the way my videos normally end, but uh, yeah, I just had to put this out there. Moral of the story, not everyone is who they seem to be because in this story, the matron that caned me was a good friend to my parents and she was a good friend to me too. M maybe she caned me because she knew the money was going to stop coming in and she was angry or maybe she just felt ashamed because yeah, I, I, I made her feel bad by not accepting any of the slaps. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. Feel free to tell me what you've been through and subscribe if you haven't. Like, share and comment. Thank you. Have a good day. Peace.